Hi everyone, good to have you here again. Here we're gonna discuss about the Odo Knowledge app, which is one of the multi purpose productivity app where the internal users can share their information by um, sharing and gathering the information. The page on which the internal users gather their information is known as article, where it has a body and title. You can also include the HTML field, which includes the templates, uh, or you can share your articles. Um, you can share the links or images or videos. So let's have a further discussion with an example. So let me choose an icon for this here. We can change the icon from these emojis where you can just drag down and give the, um, yeah, the icon that you want. So let's set it as a book or something else. Okay. Um, afterwards, you can also add a cover. So in order to add the cover, you can just upload an image um, here or you can just give the URL. So let me upload the image where you can just search for the site process um, and let's set uh, the cover. And if you want to replace the cover, you can do that. If you want to reposition, you can make uh, changes over there and you can, if you want to remove, you can remove that. So currently we have just made an article in the knowledge and we have many more options to do. So if you want to just add um, different uh, details over here, you can just click on slash and you can use uh, different things over here. So here, let's create a checklist um, that as we need to get the contact numbers of the video creators. So here you can just provide it as contact number of video creator so here you can just provide the uh, contact number of the video creator and we also uh, need to get the number of published videos number of published video okay set and now let's check different things uh, such as what all we can manage over here so if you want to just add different comments you can just um, search for slash then i want to just upload uh, a file so you can just type over here file and you can directly uh, upload the file so let me upload a file um yeah which is uh, um you can just take a, take that from your system Okay, you can upload that. And if you want to view the file, you do not need, need to download. You can just click on the file and you would be able to find the file over here. So you can find the file um, and let me close this. So if you want to just upload any uh, videos or anything, you can also uh, get that. So let's uh, name it as file. Now, in second case, we also need to get uh, one of the published uh, video from uh, the yeah Odoo tutorials. So here you can just provide it as video and let's see how can we um, upload uh, a file. So you can just give slash video and choose that way. You can just provide the URL of the um, yeah uh, I mean video so that that can be inserted over here. Okay, here you can just uh, paste it over here and if you want to make it autoplay, you can just enable and if you want to loop it, uh, just enable all other toggles and if you want to just hide the player controls, enable that, uh, hide full screen button, then enable um, and uh, you can also hide the YouTube logo. So let me... Uh, insert the video so as I insert the video you can find all the details over here and we have many more uh, things over there now um, we can also get uh, the chat GPT over here so let's choose that so just search for chat GPT where it helps to generate the text with AI Uh, so you can just go with this and this would generate the text with AI and you can find all the details over here. So AI is just thinking so it takes a while to generate 
and if you want to insert all these uh, things you can just click on insert so that the text will be inserted there and the content generated successfully okay so this is how we manage with uh, different commands uh, in the article now um, just consider we have to uh, make a research uh, of the project so in such cases we may need to just uh, insert the article into the uh, spreadsheet uh, or we want to view it over here so in such cases you can just move on to the project module and let's consider one of the project so uh, either you can create a new project or you may uh, just take one of the project from here so here I'll be uh, choosing the project name as Udo tutorial tutorials and yeah let's create so here let's create different stages um new or here you can just provide it as in progress then you can just add another one which is editing and all and uh, under new let's create a task which is um webhook as a task and if you want to just add the azanias you can add the azanias over here and yeah well set so if you want to insert this into the knowledge module you can just go to the gear icon and choose the insert and let's insert this view into the article so here we can see the uh, different articles so um, we are going to insert this view into the audio tutorials so i want to view that and i want to lively manage everything over here so once you um, insert the view here you can lively manage everything so if you want to just create a new one you can create uh, that from here itself so uh, i'm going to create a uh, python tutorial which will be completely managing by michelle admin and you can just add that so uh, you can find everything over here and if you want to change the stages you can change that uh, and all and if you want to just create a new stage uh, you can also uh, add that so let me add a new stage uh, or that is editing you can just add so you can lively manage everything over here so it's very simple to handle the articles in Odoo and we know if we have uh, multiple uh, video creators we need to um, share the documents with all among them and we also uh, need to share the documents with the TL to do the updations uh, or how to check the progress of the work. So we need to share the data or the article with different persons and uh, we can set um, permissions uh, such as edit or can read or no access and all. So here I'm giving the permission can edit to everyone uh, who is in the video create or video creation department so here you can choose the persons uh, such as yeah let me provide it as Joel Wills Mark Demo and all are the person uh, I need to invite so just click on invite so that we can invite all the users and currently they are just a uh, guest and if you want to share this uh, with anyone um, you can share this into the web um, and that's good so well said afterwards if you want to just mark this as favorite you can just enable that so this comes under the favorites and um, now let's see what happens if we add multiple users or multiple colleagues into an article and uh, what happens if they make any changes so let me log in as one of the invited user over here uh, so let's log out from the Michelle admin who is currently dealing with the article and you can just go to the um, user and as we have just uh, yeah shared the article you can just go to the knowledge uh, I mean account of Joel Wills and choose knowledge where uh, we know uh, Joel is uh, the guest user who is a portal user and here you can find the shared one and he's going to make um, an edition um, such as um, the number of okay so he has just made a change over here um, and he's going to log out so let's back 
and log out from Joel Wills and let's log in as um, Michelle itself. And when you just want the knowledge, you would be able to find the change over the article that you have just created. So here you can find the change. So if you want to just view the history, uh, you can get that. Uh, when you just want to the open history, you would be able to find the changes that has made uh, and who has made on which date and on what time. So currently you can view the change that has made and uh, the changed record is visible right now over here. So if you want to view the previous um, history, you can just move on and you can make a comparison between the data and if you want to just keep uh, with the changed one you can just move on or you can just restore the history uh, so currently i'm going with the uh, content itself that is the changed uh, content um so not yeah going with restore history and you can find that and uh, this is how we manage if we have multiple colleagues and making any changes in the article now apart from this we can also create um yeah, get the hidden views of the data, like join a hidden articles um, over here. So if you want to just join for the hidden article, you can just search uh, by using different tips such as slash at users. Or if you want to just get the channels, you can just search for search with hash. Or if you want to just view the hidden articles, you can just use the question mark to get the articles. Uh, so let me um, choose the question mark so that you can find the articles that are the hidden articles so if you want to view any of the article you can just choose that so currently we are in this article itself right so let's choose any other article which is demo okay and uh, you can find the article that has a um, hidden and it's easy to manage with the hidden articles in the workspace of uh, knowledge module and that's cool right and Odo has another feature to browse the templates, uh, which is one of the new feature. And uh, if you want to just uh, manage with that, you can choose browse features. So currently we are dealing with the Odo tutorials and let me choose the browse templates. So as you uh, browse the templates, Odo will provide different templates to select, such as meeting minutes, personal organizers, um, shared to do. And in case of the sales, tiny house catalog, um, account management, sales playbook, and many more. So here we want to manage with the meeting minutes because our TL want to know the progress of our work. So in such cases, I'll be going with meeting minute and let's load the template. And you can lively manage the meetings from the article itself. So let's click on new and our manager just thought of um, asking the progress of Odo news. So let's uh give the name it uh, i mean name of the meeting as odo news and and if we want to just schedule the odo news date uh, or any things uh you can just uh choose the slash button and you can just go with the calendar okay and you may just go with the item calendar where you can just uh set the meeting that is what do you want to manage um, managing or having a discussion on Odoo News. So you can just provide that. Okay, and you can just insert that. So once you insert, you can just schedule the date uh, and everything. So currently we have just scheduled and if you want to just schedule the time, it's easy to manage or schedule the time over here. Uh, so here you can see we have just started and the end time everything will be shown and uh, the meeting uh, will be created over here and if you want to rename this you can just rename that now just think you want to add um, more things over here like you need to customize certain things uh, such as you need to add the properties uh, properties nothing but we can just customize the fields and we can add different things so let me add the property so here you can just provide the label of the property and uh, you can just schedule uh, things and you can also set the length of the uh, video uh, that is going to be published. Um, that is the audio news that you're going to publish and all. So here let me 
um, label the property name as length and here you can just provide uh, the field type so length will be integer right so here you can just provide integer and let's display this in the card okay enable that and let's give it as five minute okay and you can find that okay let's it now our still need to know the video that gonna publish uh, so he want to know the schedule date uh, so here just you can provide the label as schedule mm, and you can also set the field type where you can just provide the date and yeah let's set the value so the video will be publishing on 24th and you can ju just display this in the card and enable that and you can find everything over here so here you can find that uh, the schedule thing and the date that we're going to publish the audio news. So it's easy to manage everything in a splash. And if you want to just log the content, you can just log that. And uh, here we have an option to create a copy. So let me create a copy so that a copy will be created. And uh, it's easy uh, to convert into article. So let me convert this into article. So as we just created a copy, you can see uh, that has created and we have just converted this into an article and you can find over here. And we can also export the things from here. So let me export. So here you can set the destinations and you can set the pages. If you want to just customize everything, you can just go with customization and um, provide uh, other details and if you want to just uh, yeah portrait the exporting file you can portrait or you can just the layout as landscape and we have many more uh, settings uh, such as the paper that we need to set that is A4 or legal or letter or tabloid A0, A1 and many more and you can also uh, set the page, pro sheet, margins, uh, scale options and everything. So currently, I'm not uh, doing anything furthermore. Let's save this. Yeah, let's save the file. So the file will be downloaded. And if you want to send this file into the trash, click on send uh, trash. And you can find all the trashes that is currently over here. So let's open the trash where you can get all the trashed files from here. So it's easy to manage everything. Mm, and finally, we have set everything over here and we have discussed almost every um, new areas in Odoo 17 knowledge module. Now let's go to the search button where you can just search for the articles according to your need and you can set uh, the advanced uh, filters by uh, choosing different options which is the filters or group by like you can just using use the sorting functionalities that is provided by Odoo or you can just choose the custom filters or custom groups over here now we have configuration that is to check the members so currently you can see all the members that is logged into each of the articles and with their permissions and you can also find the articles that are set to favorites um and you can also find the articles that are trashed and finally you will also get the stages that we have created so currently we haven't created any stages so if you want to create uh any stage you can just create a stage which is ongoing and let me set the honor article uh as audio tutorial where you can set the sequence and if you want to fold this in the kanban view you can get that okay finally we have 10 and let's mount the home screen and find the one that we are dealing with. Okay, now uh, this is how we manage with our knowledge module in Odoo 17. So hope this concept is clear and you have enjoyed. That's all for today. Odo knowledge can be beneficial for various professionals like developers, business managers, um, software administrators and in every field it can be used to optimize the knowledge or the information that gathered in a business. So hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.